I would like to thank Coca 2005 for sending me this story that is coming out of Arizona. And before I even get started, I think it is very telling that the subject matter in which I'm about to discuss is standing in front of this background that looks like it was taken out of carnival considering this man is a whole and a half ass clown. Because what he said was some goofy shit. This man's name is David Stringer and he is the Arizona representative. And I think it's probably pretty obvious from his stance and what I'm about to tell you that he's most likely a 45 supporters. I don't know if I have any followers out there from Arizona who are familiar with this man. But if you are not, this individual made some comments at a meeting talking about how immigration is, you know, is going to ruin everything and it has something has to be done about it. Basically, he's comparing immigration to an epidemic or some kind of a plague. We're familiar with that word that has to be, you know, dealt with accordingly. And he also made the statement that there aren't enough white kids to go around the state. Well, I guess there aren't because I'm guessing you're just basically telling us that there that low birth rate thing is actually true. Or there are a lot of quote unquote mixed or biracial children being born than not. And see, the thing is, a lot of white people who have low birth rates, they're going to seek to get with other races of people to create children at the sacrifice of their own race just to have kids. If they can't have them amongst their own, this is what's going to end up happening. And the thing is, they, he's trying to deny the inevitable because he knows that if this turns into a whole different type of country, which he's saying is, that's what it's turning into, then it's going to pretty much be done for, which it will be in a matter of years. It's only, they're, they're literally on borrowed time. Father Time is not their friend at the moment, if you can't already tell. So he's in panic mode, like many of them are. So he says, like, we just need to do something about immigration. We need to stop it from happening. And this, that, and the third, because he knows once they get over here, he's using that age old thing. Well, if they get over here, they're going to screw our women. Their, their women are going to screw us and this, that, and the third. And, and <laughs> it's laughable at this point. It really is. It's funny. All you can do is just simply laugh at the BS that comes out of their mouths every time they open it. He says, if we don't do something about immigration now, we're going to be doomed and we're going to be a very different country. Well, here's the thing. When you invaded this land, it was a very different country. It was a very brown country and slightly dark country at, at the same time. When you came over and brought over smallpox, spread that around, then brought us over, destroyed us, and now you don't think that this is karma. All that's happening is everything is going back in reverse. Everything is going back to the way nature intended it to be. And you can't handle it. Something tells me that y'all, well, see, here's the thing. Y'all been on borrowed time. I used to, like, kind of shrug off that whole 6,000 years thing. But now that I'm starting to see things through a very um, broad scope, I'm starting to believe that that 6,000 whatever how many years thing is actually real. Let's see, your low birth rates, the opioid plague, the sun is kicking your ass, and a whole bunch of other things is, is dealing with you. And it's mainly because of how you are. This is your karma, and you refuse to believe it, but it, it's, it's here to stay. It's not going anywhere. Sorry, not sorry. Deal with it. Your time is almost up. And there's absolutely not a goddamn thing that you can do about it. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.